Wireless charging is very convenient, but there are many questions still attached to it. Are all brands reliable? Is it safe? Will a higher output damage my smartphone in any way? Well, we're going to be answering all these questions and more in this video. When it comes to wireless charging pads, higher power output is always better. The 5W charging pads may be cheaper, but they are only ideal if you're keeping your phone on charge overnight. Ideally, go for a high power output pad like 10 watts or more. Don't worry, your phone will only take the power at the rate that it can handle. In fact, having a higher powered pad can be a way of future proofing your investment. Most charging pads don't come with a bundle adapter, so you're very likely to use your regular phone charger on it. It's a good idea to match the charging pad's power input port with your phones, like micro USB or USB Type C. Also, make sure that the power output of your power adapter matches or is above the power output of the charging pad. Like if you connect a 10 watt adapter to a 5 watt charging pad, it will only output 5 watts of power. You're not going to connect your expensive phone to a cheap, unbranded power adapter, are you? The same way, always go for branded charging pads. Wireless charging pads are not just about convenience, they end up becoming a part of your home or office decor. Thankfully, there are many designs and color options available these days for charging pads. So get the one that will not stick out like a sore thumb on your furniture. Many wireless charging pads support separate charging speeds on iPhones and Android. It's a good idea to keep an eye on the charging speeds on your device before making a purchase. Follow these simple tips and you should not have a problem picking the right wireless charger for your phone. Thanks for watching and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.